Alrighty, we've got Prey on the Fox, the hot fox at that, and Inferno going the Kirby, the fox counter pick at that. The one that fox mains usually revere. Fear. Uh, let's get into this. This is uh, quite interesting because uh, I haven't seen really uh, Prey really deal with uh, Kirby's pressure. The old Kirby and I seen I mean, really just me when I play Kirby for a little bit, but we don't talk about that too much because uh, those days are gone, long gone, and they're not the present right now. Bruno's keeping this pretty close so far. He's getting the uh, hits that he needs to get some decent combos going. Up tilt works really well on fast levels for sure. But, uh, the nipple break there. Prey with the reaction on the pop out. A lot of inlight on that actually. I'm more than I'm like, trying to cover the air right now with these, uh, can't with these, uh, the time of recovery. That's a stock! And Inferno has a stock lead now. It does not run into that, that gives, uh, Inferno an opportunity. Does not get to fully capitalize otherwise due to the fault speed of, uh, boss. Um, I think the only thing you could have really hit him with there was a down, actually. He was able to go in the shield and move the this building, so. Not too much there. And up air, and up air is gonna break right through that da Kirby downer. Kirby's downer is a little bit slower than uh, Fox's up air, so yeah. So do the thing right there. Um. Okay, never mind. Inferno did not fully commit, but um. Okay. That could have been something. And it wasn't. It still could have been something. Not denied. I just realized um. Fox, Fox and uh, Fox Kirby have like one of the best. Shield break punish tools in the game. If you break shield with them, they can just laser you and it doesn't knock you back or anything because it has no knockback, it just does percent. So you can just rack up the percent to put them into enough percent to kill them. That's quite something. I wish I had that. Um, with one of my characters, I don't know. Even the really need that, to be fair. Okay, Inferno is loving this stone option right now and it's not working very, very strongly for him right now. As Prey has now brought this to a potential last hit situation here. That chase down, right, that chase right there gets, him to, gets Kirby to 99%. Low recovery! That could have been the Kirby downer. This downer does have a multiplier. The longer it goes, the meteor is better. I could have worded that better. Either way, Prey is going to take that game one right there. In a very, very close game there. Maybe with a little bit of a surprise at first. <laughs> Survival. All right, well, I think we're just gonna stick it out. Um, I was very close last hit situation, at least from his perspective of a uh, of that set. So it could go either way in his mind, and it could go either way here on the same stage that we started with game one. See how it happens. Uh, Inferno trying to duck under the Fox lasers right there. Prey using that as an ultimate to just charge it in there and get a little bit more damage. Op tilts, that's gonna be some stuff. Again, he falls right out of that and just heals. I I'm, I'm starting to feel like the only thing that Kirby can really do out of the throw on fast forward is down at 100%. Because I feel like he should be able to but yeah. I don't see this very often, so yeah. I'm speculating probably as much as. Others may be. Uh, forcing the recovery right there. Prey definitely has the upper hand at the moment with his control of the match. It's definitely paying off for him a bit. Turtle with the out of shield uh, up till. That's been a very uh, good out of shield option for him this set so far, I would say. Especially for starting juggles like that, yeah. 57%. Kirby is light though, so being careful there. Good timing on the shield right there. Aggression. There's a jab, jab, up smash. It worked right there as Kirby air dodged into the ground right there, getting a little trapped. Not sure how to really land right there. It's a little bit tough sometimes. But even even when it doesn't necessarily confirm, it's still. Uh, Inferno's off stage using those jumps. Okay, yeah, he's making it back. He's gonna refresh all those jumps. Okay, that was a close one. Fox almost actually got the gimp off of that. And yeah, Inferno at this point doesn't really seem to know exactly what he can really do here to deal with Kray's box. Kray is just keeping his own pressure going, catches one of those jumps right there. Tricky recovery though, I don't I don't agree with that over commitment. 
because it did put him in a rough spot where he could have lost his stocks in a single game. Go <laughs> smash bowl carry here with the Nairs. Okay. Footstool, rip. Um, yeah, rip. That's it. Yeah. Infernal opting for a pretty leggy uh, special option right there. Um, that put him a little bit low right there. And Prey with the right equalization right there to just simply footstool him. As uh, Jigglypuff and uh, Kirby both uh, have very low jumps and um, have nothing to really protect above their head. Kirby can protect in front of him at the most. Jigglypuff can't do anything. This isn't really tough, but. Point being, easy way to take away is jumps that don't really go super far. That's going to be what seals it out. Stuff to crave. Moving on 2-0, but failed to update that. 